Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Now, I want to give some context about where I am in the game so you can kind of get an understanding of the level of experience that I'm talking from. I am currently at Dark Forest 7. I've completed everything that I can do. I've completed all the battles. I've explored 100%. And I'm now waiting to get to AFK Stage 395. Think it's possible within the next few days and I should be able to move on to the next phase of the campaign. So, I have... I'm pretty sort of high end on my server. I wouldn't say I'm top 50, but I'm, I'm sort of in the 50 to 100 range. And in general, like on battle modes, let's say Dream Realm, I'm currently ranked 73 on the server for Dream Realm, which is not too bad. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the um, the position that I'm at. And I've done a lot of things. I've kind of progressed my account since global launch. And I now want to talk a little bit about some of the things that I didn't realize until about three quarters of the way, my th way through my playthrough and things that will help you progress a little quicker. Um, the first of which is actually exploration. Uh, I actually didn't notice this was even a thing until I was into the Dark Forest and I had completely missed all of Golden Wheatshire, all of Hollowstone. But basically, go to your exploration journal uh, and claim your free rewards. They're pretty nice. Um, the second thing is also on this map, the stores. Now, you might wonder, why why, are they, why have I got these random stores that just have a little note on them that has sort of like a, an orange circle that says go there? Well, it's because they actually scale up as the game progresses. So if we talk about the Iron Forge um, store first, or Iron Hoof Forge st store first, talk about the purchases, and you can see here that it offers you equipment across the board. Now, you might think, should I invest my money to buy this equipment? You absolutely should. If you can upgrade your equipment, you really should be looking to do it as you know as much as you physically can. I've got loads of upgrades here that I could probably sink a bit of cash into. You don't want to, um, when you get to my level and you kind of a bit more um, sparingly have to use your cash, like at the start of the game, you, you this won't even make a, um, this may, won't even make a dent. So, um at the, you know at the start of the campaign you might as well spend your gold but gold is very easy to come by and you can't actually spend it on that many things so i definitely recommend going to the store and especially if you've got like a big upgrade in levels that you can do here so if i could look at this that's a, 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 i don't really use many warriors in my team i don't really use many rogues in my team but um for instance a support upgrade that's pretty worth it for me um i use supports two two supports in some of my lineups um, and that will give me kind of like a five level eye level upgrade. This equipment area is something that is really worth forging and upgrading as much as you can. People actually don't realize how much equipment actually contributes to your overall power level, especially in fights. Um, it's really, really important that you uh, upgrade your equipment whenever you can, because essentially it is going to contribute almost as much as your actual resonance levels that you have here. So it's very important that you do that. Um, and yeah, using the uh, Iron Hoof Forge whenever you can is important too. The other thing that I didn't realize until I was in Dark Forest, and a lot of you may not realize either, is that when you get Hollowstone coins, every time you complete a world encounter, and I can't show you any world encounters because I've actually blinking done them all that I can actually do at the moment, but every time you complete a world encounter, you will get Hollowstone coins. And um, you can come to Keith's treasure hut, and he will have a sequentially increasing series of stuff that you can buy now i don't want to buy um, the equipment but i definitely want to buy these i definitely want to buy these and you might think oh should i spend in keith's store well actually you have to spend in keith's store there's nothing else that you can do with these coins and to unlock more you actually need to spend so if i want to unlock stuff later down the line i can't even get to it until i've spent a certain amount and as you can see now i've got a level 130 for a marksman and for a, um, a mage and a warrior. So level 130, that's actually really nice. Um, I'm definitely going to pick that up. I'm just going to double check that I don't already have anything of anywhere near that level. Uh, if I go to my equipment, marksman. Oh god, yeah, massive upgrade. So this is this is going to give me a massive power boost. We can even have a look at the power boost that I'm going to get from this. But you actually have to spend in Keith's store in order to get... Um, an increased amount of uh, stuff available to you and so the more you go and the more you can spend you can unlock all of these rewards and it's mostly soul shards and experience but that's fine because there's nothing else to spend that resource on so we go to equipment we go to marksman let's have a look gosh get a, a 10k increase in power 
just from equipping that. And Cassessia is counted as a marksman. That's absolutely huge for me. So, yeah, definitely go and spend your your Hollowstone coins because they can be a major way to upgrade your power level. Um, I actually got a decent chunk of experience as well. So what I'm going to do is just going to do this. I think I could actually get... Um, I think it was telling me I could actually get Rowan to uh, Mythic if I wanted to. Rowan's pretty good. I'm actually considering it. There aren't actually many other Lightborn heroes that I would spend those Lightborn acorns on. And I actually use Rowan quite frequently. Um, Lightborn is, or Light, yeah, Light, uh, Light Bearer. I say Lightborn, it's Graveborn. Lightbearer is probably the weakest class overall. Really, the only super good Lightbearers are um, Cassidy, which is primarily used in uh, Dream Realm, Marily, Corin, and then obviously Rowan, who's pretty decent as well. But you don't actually need Rowan's kind of like a one copy wonder. I'm going on a tangent here. He's kind of like a one copy wonder. You don't really need to invest in him to him to become good. So I'm actually not going to. I'm going to leave it as is for the time being. Um, but yeah, so definitely go and uh, ensure that you are uh, buying things from Keith in the store because I didn't realize you could do that until like about halfway through the campaign and it massively increased my power level and what I was capable of doing. Um, and that, again, comes with like experience upgrades. It gives you soul shards and obviously you can see in your inventory, I'm just gonna quick recycle stuff there. Could recycle that for a thousand as well. But look, look how many um, soul shards I've got. I'm gonna get a, I get a, a, a Marily one. I get a, well, all of them are bad apart from Marily. I mean, this, this guy's okay for Dream Realm as well. Um, but that's good. Like, you know, I got those from the uh, the store and actually I think not yet able to put him up. Oh, joy, I can get Faye. Let's ascend Faye, everyone. What a great, what a great hero. So glad I can ascend Faye. She's so useful. Um, but yeah, tangents aside, definitely use the, the Keith store because it's very important and it helps increase your power level and will help boost your progress. And I didn't do it for ages. The next thing is you should definitely be doing arena whenever you can. A lot of people ignore it because they think they don't like the idea of PvP, but I can guarantee you, you will find people to beat. It is There is always people to beat in PvP. And it's actually important that you do try and uh, do PvP challenges because I will show you in a minute what you can get from it. But um, let's take a look at this. Um... With this kind of, it doesn't really matter. I think I'm, I think I'm going to cr crush this guy regardless. I'm at such high, such a higher power level. Um, I'm running a double support PvP comp, so I'm running Rowan and Hewin. Um, I actually probably could put, um, probably could put Smokey uh, Mirky in over Hewin as well. But Hewin just gives me loads of healing. Um, yeah, that was pretty simple. I, the reason I tell you to run uh, arenas, not only do you get some good rewards from it, but... Ooh, I've been promoted. Nice, to epic one. Let's go. I get some uh, nice new rewards. Sweet. Not only do I get some nice rewards, but if you go to your mystical house and go to the Emporium, you will see that you can buy some s tier soul sigils and for instance i've bought cessia because i wanted to upgrade her to mythic plus um, and there are some good ones in here so you've got hewin great healer you've got uh cassidy which is quite good for dream realm uh granny dani is a pretty solid tank igor is useful um brian is okay atlanta is absolutely useless don't spend it on atlanta we can get rowans from here so we can actually buy soul so just rowan but essentially this is a great way especially for cessia to level up cessia um and that can help you with your uh, uh, campaign progress for sure the next thing is a lot of people ask me what do i spend my diamonds on well as you can see even though i think this is bugged for some reason because daily and monthly uh, are on the same page and there's ui tabs for it uh, i buy pretty much everything that i can from the emporium but especially the guild store for diamonds it's the most cost effective way of spending your diamonds even if you have to be a bit slower in terms of how you use them i've got 51k diamonds i am not going to blast them all on pools because i don't need to um, i might do at some point but at the moment i'm just um buying everything that i can from the guild shop because it is the most cost efficient way to use your diamonds so if you're looking to progress in a cost efficient way using your diamonds this is definitely the best way to do it using the emporium but also use the dream store so obviously i don't need to tell you to do the dream realm um if you're not doing the dream realm do the dream realm um but it will get get you access to these dream fragments which can then allow you to buy uh, buy a tier hero shards um for me i've bought a couple of krugers to get him to a good level so i can use him 
in Dream Realm more often, but I've got Corin, who is like absolutely S tier in most Dream Realms. I've got Marily, who is S tier in most Dream Realms. Odie is one of the best range supports, uh, range damage dealers in the game. We've got Viperion, who's also fantastic. We've got uh, Antandra, who's a great late game tank as well. There was essentially this is a great way to target level up, and all you need to do is do participate in the the Dream Realm. Um, so I definitely recommend that you do that. I've obviously, like I said. I've already done that today. I'm gonna to, probably going to be sitting at uh, rank 73, which is pretty decent. And I'll get some Dream Realm things that I can use over the next few days to kind of buy specific hero soul sigils. So definitely do Dream Realm and pick up stuff from the Emporium to target level specific um, heroes that you actually want to level up. The next thing that you may not have known is obviously we have side quests and they're not always obvious where they are but if you go on your quest over here on the right hand side you tap that that will bring up your main quest but also your side quest you can see that i've actually got one side quest to do that i can still go ahead and do uh, and get sorted but something that i didn't know until literally yesterday is there are things called town quests um and these get you a decent amount of resources as well so it's pretty important that you go onto your town quest sections because it's not obvious that they're there. Um, so when you click on the quests, go to town quests and complete these, and they will grant you a good amount of resources, which will help your progression as well. But also make sure you do as many side quests as you have available also. Didn't even realize that those things were there either, um, which was kind of crazy. Um, but there you go. Uh, and then my final tip is definitely join a guild. Uh, this is something that I said on my beginner guide, but it's absolutely imperative that you do so. Battle drills and joining a guild will get you access to such a wealth of resources that you wouldn't have by trying to do everything by yourself. So join a guild um, and start participating in battle drills. You get rewards based on how much you contribute, but that's perfectly fine. Um, and so definitely you need to go and join a guild to help help ensure that your progression's smoothing along. But these are just some uh, some small tips in terms of kind of things you may not have known existed or things that were just as important to make sure that you can progress. The only other advice that I can give you is don't be afraid to invest resources in a hero, even if it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be good later later on. For instance, I know that Cessia drops off a cliff later on. Like she's always useful, but she get she's not she's not always going to be um, the best in slot, right? Cessia gets outclassed in the late game, best in slot. But I am so far away from having like iron at mythic plus for instance like i am so far away from that i shouldn't be afraid to invest some resources into cessia now so that i can actually progress at a good rate um so it's, it is important that you just invest resources in in, in heroes even if they're not necessarily going to be fantastic look i will say like make sure that you're investing in heroes that are considered strong so for instance like i wouldn't be going and slapping a load of resources into lucius for instance because he has weaknesses. He's not good. He's not that great in most comps. I wouldn't, you know, be leveling up uh, Muriel because she's just not that good. But, you know, Odie, great. Level him up. Use him. Viperion, not considered absolutely S tier, but he's super useful in a lot of scenarios in both PvE and PvP. Vala, she's solid. Bit of a, you know, she can work with one copy, but she is a very solid uh, backline uh, dealing with threat. You have things like uh, Shakir. He's considered really strong, even though he's not always in a meta squad. Uh, Granny Dani. She might not be the number one tank, but she's still a very, very good tank if you don't have a copy of Thorin. So don't be afraid to invest resources into uh, into heroes that may not necessarily be absolutely S tier. As long as you know that they're going to have some kind of use and they're considered strong in general, definitely just go and slam your resources in them because you'll make those resources back. Like, you will. This is the point of an AFK game. You will make them back. There's no point saving, ev saving everything up for that potential moment that you get everything that you need to get the super late game team. Everyone is going to get to the late game. It just depends on how long it takes. For instance, it, I'm super happy to have my level 100, 30k power Cessia, even though I know she's going to get outclassed later on into the game. Um, so just don't be afraid to invest some resources in. And uh, in terms of also making sure that all of your team is useful, make sure you like level up your resonance at a similar pace. You don't want to have something that's like way, way, way uh, beyond the rest of your team because it just a a it makes swapping things in and out annoying. Because I hate having to like say, oh gosh, I, th I really feel like I want to use OD this round, but um yeah, my the one that I want to swap out is level one hundred and OD is like level ninety because my resonance is super low. It just it just makes it annoying. Um, 
and also uh, for the um the legend tower uh, the legend trial like it's nice to have uh resonance high so you don't have to like put in like a full mauler team into your uh, into your resonance uh your hands of resonance but there we go look hopefully that's been helpful for you guys that's some tips about just some things you may not have been aware of or things that are not immediately obvious they can help you progress in the game just generally some useful advice for afk journey and i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you soon